Hello, Martin here again. Trees. Whoop, here, trees. In this video I show you how to draw these four type of trees, but with four different four <laughs> with four different uh, tools. We use um, fine liner, this one. We use a fountain pen, a field pen. We use a brush, we use ink and watercolor. On watercolor paper, 300 grams. And it's, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a biologist. It's just when I should draw a pine or an oak, I think about, I would uh, drawing, draw it like this. Maybe it's not absolutely correct, but uh, in the right direction, I hope so. So let's dive into it and have fun. Let's start with a very known, well-known one, the oak. Therefore, I would suggest a heavy, heavy, big trunk with some notice, noticeable roots there. And then this well-known, very heavy uh, crowns. So really big fat crown and maybe here and there you can see the, the branches and then on the other hand Let's do a pine, which is more a thinner, more higher uh, uh, trunk, and then some open uh, leaves here and there. So a, a, so like that. And there are, of course, many different types of oaks, of uh, marples, of pines. So this is one of these pines. And we will do them with ink in a second. Uh, so here we have the oak. Here we have the pine. Let's do a uh, linden. Let's say we see this here and then I would suggest to do them not as big crowns as oaks, but of course they can have. Let's do them a little bit a little bit skinny than this fat big crown of an oak. We have this linden here and maple tree. There the leaves are well known. And the maple, something, maybe a thinner trunk. And then again, but as well a more open crown. So not that closed leaves. Let's do some gaps here and there and more this 
shape here. So here we have the four type of trees. But well, let's start with this one to go over the shapes. So we stay here with this very regular shape. So mostly like a, a circle. And here we go, we just do tiny little strokes. And standing in front of this pine. So, of course, I'm not an expert of, of uh, knowing something about trees. So when I tell you something wrong and there are people who know more about trees, so from na nature, not from the artist's perspective, like a biologist, then please correct me in the comments and so we all can learn more about trees. Here are branches and then all the most of the time of course the light is coming from above so we have here more the shadow side underneath the crown. And we will use, for each of these trees, we will use different tools, drawing tools. So this one was a fine liner. We will color them with watercolor as well or with ink. So maybe one we leave in black and white. And so here and there some leaves so that we get more an interesting shape. And then we need something like a brush to do so first shadows. For this oak. This is a pentel pocket brush, but there are others on the market, of course. And here it comes to the, to the shadows. Also behind these. visible uh, branches and we can also use, uh, so the last time I used uh, these water brushes filled with diluid ink and we can, okay this is nearly empty Now this one, there is more lighter gray, so very much water. That's okay for this needs now. And you see it's becoming more interesting. We have something else, no, because the color I do then in the end. So for the next tree we use a fountain pen but uh, with a bended nib 
you see here. This is a banded nib and uh, it's called a field pen filled with waterproof ink and so therefore we can do the shadows immediately then I turn uh, upside down I turn the nib and we can do as well our leaves so these bushes of, of, of leaves and as well as the branches So with uh, these fountain pens you are a little bit faster because you can do the shadows and the fine lines in one step. And when it's already not dried up we can add the shadows with these diluted gray ink see so more branches in between and then it's behind the this oak Maybe there is one more branches here as well. And we can add some structure here on the, on the trunk, the shadow side of the trunk maybe here. some more of these leaves and shadows so as well as I said I'm not a scientist of nature so this is just from the perspective from the point of uh, an artist an illustrator and of course a very fast loose one so that we don't need too much time to see some already trees oops wrong and then let's do some shadows here here and there before then afterwards we use the watercolor so what can we use here yeah, we use then uh, the most fun tools i like are these steel pen pen steel pens steel nibs and have different types uh -huh, this is a little bit oops ah, it will work and therefore we need of course ink Here I have some waterproof ink, hopefully, and we start. Ah, good. This is a very flexible one, so I use them for the sparkles. and maybe the other one is then for the drawing yeah 
So the linden. And here you have the same, or a little bit like this one, you can do more thicker lines, because this is a flexible nib as well. And therefore, here are some branches. And in this case, we will do maybe more with the watercolor and less uh, drawing. Over here, there. So this is a sketch ink from Rohr and Klingner, but uh, this is made for when I use them in, in fountain pens, like this uh, fountain pen before, this field pen. But with this uh, steel nibs, you can use any type of ink, but I would recommend, of course, that you think about it if you want to color it with watercolor, so they have to be waterproof, of course. So oh, let's do our trunk here and some leaves. Sorry for the noise. I know that some people don't like this scratching. Well, luckily, I don't mind it. I don't care it. Otherwise, I couldn't do any of my steel nib drawings. Okay, let's, and this is because of the ink, the steel nib, it's, uh, it takes much more time to dry. So I have to be a little bit more carefully because you see, it's still wet. And so the ink floats out so that this Special one gets a little bit darker than the other one. But anyway, so okay, let's try this one. And for the for this uh, last one, the fourth. I could take, oh, let's take only, uh, let's paint first and then maybe I do a little drawing in it. So here, let's take some diluit ink. And we can do this in red and orange because it's a marble, so then, you know, these sugar marble leaves or so on. There we have some red. So we do here the drawing later. And start with some red and orange background.
and the trunk as well. There's a brown one. Okay, let's see we have a few more, a little bit funnier part. It's too much here. Let's lift it up with a um, more dry brush. So. Okay, let's color this uh, oak. So let's do a um, gradient from a very bright green to a darker one. Very loose, you see, very easy. Lift up a little bit the color and then we let this dry. Then let's do the pine, maybe more darker green. But I only touch the paper. And then we can sparkle it a little bit here and there. And I don't want to touch the, the bright, uh, shiny yellow of this oak. Because this is still wet. And then we need a coloring to trunk. Okay. My beloved wife, maybe. SMS or uh, Let's do this trunk as well. And the linden, the linden tree, I would suggest a basic color of a very light green, shiny one. Hope the ink is dry. Meantime, in the meantime, yeah, seems to be dry. Uh, okay, not here in the bottom, but that's okay. We can lift it up. Okay, so we have here our four trees. In this one I will Oh, it's still wet. I will do some more structure when it's dry. So now that it is relatively dry, let's add some shadows with lamp black aquarel, uh, watercolor or mouse black or maybe a little bit mixed with uh, indigo blue. And then let's do some 
some shadows here and there as well very loose here with the branches and underneath the ground the bottom then Lift up. Yeah, come on. Uh, something like that. Okay, and here more darker shadow. There is more a separation between the, the leaves and the branches. Got a little bit too dark, honestly. Dark side of a tree. And here we need, of course, more darkness. But this one mixed with the green. A little bit more water. And I leave some gaps so that they're shines. Something like that, and then darker red parts. So, well, I hope you have fun with drawing these uh, four trees with me. When you have any questions, please leave them in a the comment. And, of course, on my Instagram profile, you can send me your trees for critique or just to show me what you have done. So, bye. See you next time.